Hey there YouTube, this is Minty Josh 19 and welcome back to my channel. So in today's military video, uh, military vehicle video on GTA Online, we're going to be talking about a vehicle that, I will, that, I'm not sure what the purpose of it is actually. Um, but this vehicle can only be purchased from War Stock Cash and Carry. It's right here, it's, I think it's called the Zahaba, the Zaba, sorry about that, I think it's called the Zaba, I'm pretty sure it is, um, if you buy it now, it's 2.4 million dollars, so that's 2 million four hundred thousand dollars, trade price, if you unlock the trade price, is 1.8, so that's 1 million eight hundred thousand dollars, and the description of it is, alien invasion, the undead rising, the undead rising, Hordes of liberal art students. Okay, then. Whatever threatens you, your way of life, make sure you have the upper hand with the rune Zaba. Zaba, or whatever it is. The perfect vehicle to rise you up above, to rise you up above it all. Whether you're grinding bones or crushing or crushing hope, Warstike has you covered. So, I recently purchased this for the $2.5 million dollars. Or 2.4 million. Um, just because it's a military vehicle, and my goal is to have every military vehicle in the game. Currently, I have it stored in my nightclub basement two. Okay. As you can see, the snow is still in the game. I'm not sure how long it's gonna be in there because it's been in here for almost two weeks, and it makes it hard to race in it. Uh, but I'm still. Decked out in my desert gear with my uh, desert themed M16 assault rifle. Ah, uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There it is. Now, I heard, did hear a rumor that there's supposed to actually not more, not a rumor, more so as something I read online that there are going to be coming up an update probably this month or in February or March. Where they're going to add a garage a 60 massive 60 car garage to buy i'm hoping that they add more military vehicles in here as well so this thing drives a little differently than a car as you can see when you turn the wheel the wheels don't actually turn over the way it turns is the one side of the wheels actually reverses and the other side actually goes forward as you can see I'm turning, I'm right now, turning the analog stick, and the wheels aren't even moving, so. But the wheels are bulletproof. You don't, you can't change the wheels, but you can add livery to it, as I just did. Um, you can't add weapons to it, which is kind of a bummer. Now let me just drop over to Santos Customs, and I'll show you what I mean. To me, it looks kind of weird looking like it, it looks like somebody took a cab of a semi truck and just squished it into a box that's literally what it looks like it looks like they made a box and then put some giant off-road off tires on it it's not very fast even with the engine upgrade and the turbo I have I'm literally only doing six seventy miles an hour tops where most of my other military groups can do upwards of 100 to 120. So it's not really that fast. Technically, you could take it off roading because it is an off road vehicle. So if you're doing like a race and it requires off road cars, I'm pretty sure you can use this thing. I wouldn't recommend it though, it's very, very slow. So. It might take me a couple minutes for the top slow to drive to Los Angeles Customs. So, yeah. So, I can show you all the customizable options you can do for it. It is hard to turn. Or not hard to turn. Which, once you, especially in the snow, once you start going like this, it's, okay. it's hard to um, straighten out. I found out. I'm not at the hard way, lost so much of it, which was two days ago.
But it is. But one of the things I like about it. Nah. It, the way it turns is really weird. It's literally having you go sideways. You can kind of drift in it, kind of do donuts in it. But it's much easier to do donuts in a tank in the snow than it is in this thing. So as soon as I get to Los Angeles Customs. Also, if you guys haven't, there is a a van for limited only, for limited time only, that you drive around to its most notable locations. I'm not sure where it is. You just have to find it randomly. And when you find it, you do get access to a rail gun. Um, currently, I haven't found it yet. I'm still trying to look for it. Oh yeah, I forgot you can run people over too. Uh, but like I said, if you guys haven't found that van already, um, I wish you luck. I haven't found it yet. <laughs> uh, anyway. Also, in regards to Hogwarts Legacy, thank you for all your comments. Um, I've been watching my Xbox, and so far, it looks like it was just a bug that they had. Where they sent out the message to everybody who pre-ordered the, um, Xbox One Edition, or the PS4. Um, but since you, if you ordered the Digital Deluxe Edition, that has both copies on it. So if you ordered that one, it's gonna have the Xbox One version on it as well. And, because it has the One version... You are going to receive that, but you won't lose the digital deluxe edition, which, if you pre-ordered it now, comes out February 10th. So next, so sometime about three weeks from now. Um, but for those of us who pre-ordered it, uh, we do get it 72 hours earlier on February 7th. I'm actually looking forward to that because I do believe that's a Friday. I'm like mistaken on that. Um, but I'm literally gonna spend the entire time doing that. Anyway. So, as you can see, I have mine decked out with the 90s sandbox library. I've upgraded the armor. Put race brakes on it. Front bumpers, all they are are is that little pipe. You can't put those on if you want to. Grin them, I'm just gonna put them on. Not sure why. I upgraded my engine, exhaust. I have my exhaust sticking up out of the air. Just because I can. Put explosives on it. Fenders. So these are stock fenders. You can also add secondary fenders. Black plastic fenders. Secondary with lights. I have mine with... I have primary fenders with alternate lights, even though they don't work. The grill, you can have an open panel winch with hooks, an open panel winch, winch and towing winch, single tow hook, dual tow hooks or stock. Horn, you can upgrade all your horn. I like my stock horn. I'm going to upgrade the headlights. You can put a layout and neon layout on it. I think that looks kind of ridiculous because it only hits the tires. Library, as you can see, I have the 90 sandbox. They also make all these. Okay, that's kind of right. Looks like something from Dial Casino and Resort. Anyway, um, my primary color, as usual, is the matted. This should be bad. Huh, okay then. Okay, mine is actually supposed to be matted, but mine's classic. So it looks shiny like that. And then to fix that. Um, Wood Beach Brown, even though I could have sworn I put it to this one. I'm not sure what happened there. But I'm going to go ahead and put it to Desert Tan. Just because I'm usually driving it in the desert anyways. There. 
roof. You can do a secondary rack, stock roof, black small rack, primary small rack, secondary small rack, big black rack, primary big rack, or secondary, which are basically the same thing. Roof panels. These are basically your armored panels. Black plastic, carbon fiber, secondary. If you want to sell it, you'll get $1,586,425 for it. The racks, so these are the ones that go on the side here. You know, you can have your stock, which is like a ladder. You can have a trenching kit, which is two shovels. A passenger trenching kit. A single oil can, dual oil can, dual fuel can, single fuel can. I put the dual one. Side panels. This is basically just a little door, little door thing. I uh, upgraded my transmission, installed the turbo, and the wheels. Like I said, it does come with bulletproof tires. Even they can't see it. You can't put them on standard tires for $200, but who, who doesn't want bulletproof tires on this thing? You can add some tire smoke to it, tint your windows, and that's pretty much it. You can't put weapons on, so really, it's mainly just for off-roading. That's pretty much its only function. It's ridiculous, I know. You would have thought that you could put, at least put like a single mount machine gun on top of it, but I guess not. Um, it is fun to run over people with, with, yeah, run over cars with this though. Especially when they're like little cars, really flat. Like this one here. So, yep, this really doesn't serve much of a purpose other than that. Oh, look, a cust uh, customized car. I think that's a customized car. Could wrong. Anyway, so that's it for this video. Hit that like and subscribe button below. Don't forget to leave a comment about what you think of the video. And if you want to give me some hints or opinions on how to make my video better, you're more than welcome to. So I'll just smash that thumbs up on. Don't forget to follow me on Twitch later. I start live streaming in 20 minutes. On Fallout 4. I'm going to be doing some base building and whatnot. So, anyway. Yeah, smash that thumbs up button, leave a comment below, follow me on Twitch, and I will see you all on Friday. Have a good one.